what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The statistics on police shootings across the United States are staggering. Don't make no difference to the police, though, because despite stay-at-home orders and many cities across the United States shutting down, police still are finding time to shoot citizens of the United States. As of July 17, more than 1,000 people have been shot by the police. Among them should be 14-year-old Traymar McGee, though for months, he may not have been counted in that number. The Louisiana team was shot by a Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputy in March, but the police never recorded that simple and important fact. To this day, Traymar and his mother does not know the name of the thug who shot him. The other officers involved are why no one told her it was a cop who shot her son. Tiffany McGee says she received a call on March 20th, a Friday night, telling her that her son had been shot. She rushed to the hospital where she met with the doctor who assured her that her son was alive and a detective who told her she could not see her son that night. Baffled. She had no idea that a cop had shot her son. Tremal said he was hanging out with a group of older friends who picked him up in a black Nissan Maxima. The car had apparently been stolen several days before, but Tremal was unaware of this. It's uncertain whether his friends knew. As they were driving along, a cop car gets behind them, flash the lights, and the driver speeds off, sparking a chase. The car comes to a stop eventually. The occupants bail out, and Tremal hides underneath a shed. The officer approaches him, tells him to come out as he's complying with his hands up. The officer shoots him in the arm. Now, his mother says she didn't find out about this until she traced his phone to the police department. And there, another officer revealed that it was a police officer who shot her son. The pandemic slowed down Tiffany's quest for answers. Two months after her son's shooting, she returned to the sheriff's office only to be told by an officer, get this family, you're gonna love the honesty. There were no officer involved shootings. After a second visit demanding answers, she was told by the police. They didn't have a name for the shooter, but they're charging her son with resisting by flight. <laughs> Man. And get this. In the initial report of Trey Maul's arrest, it made no mention of anybody being shot or going to the hospital. But they did report that there was a chase and how the guys fleed and they went after them. Oh, this is America, baby. This is not an isolated situation. And I can guarantee you that Parrish has thousands and thousands, tens of hundreds of thousands of cases, millions over the years. Guarantee. This is a culture. This is why we say defund the police. Why in the hell do you need so many cops if they're not out actually solving crimes, if they're out actually creating crimes? 
Why do you need so many cops? You don't. It's a hustle. Most of these cases are petty cases that they're creating. Or they'll turn a petty case into a felony. Every single one of these clowns that was involved in that, in that shooting, that was out on the scene who covered for him, should be arrested and prosecuted, thrown in jail. It's not going to happen, though, because, hey, they're covering from, look, the fact that this dude hasn't even been named and it's been months, the fact that they shot somebody and didn't record it, do you know how many other people they've shot that they didn't record? They didn't report it because they felt like, oh, he's a poor kid from the hood, you know, we're in Jefferson Parish, he's black. Nobody know. Nobody ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it. Nobody cares. They got the right one this time. Tiffany McGee. On their ass. Yeah, they got the right one. See, I can guarantee you, man, they got a whole bunch of cases like that. Never, never ever reported them. Need to just fire the whole damn police department. Man, people do better, man, fending for themselves out here. I think there will probably be more respect in, within the community than to having to rely on them. Everybody look out for everybody. There was a time when that actually worked. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?